Hello everybody, Rob here. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on uh, how to model a car in Moto from start to finish, including how to set up blueprints, where to get blueprints from, etc. Uh, hopefully, uh, this isn't boring to some of you know how to do some of this stuff, but uh, obviously you can skip videos that uh, you already know how to do the things I'm going to be teaching. On this first video, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, properly set up blueprints in Moto so that everything matches up so that your model comes out accurately. Um, I've already went ahead and downloaded a picture. Uh, I'm going to be doing a Nissan 350Z and I went ahead and I downloaded that from the blueprints.com. Um, if you don't know about the site, it's a great site resource for all kinds of vehicles, um, tanks, airplanes, cars, trucks, motorcycles, you name it. So uh, the first thing we need to do is um, separate out these different parts. Okay, and the way we do that is I uh, just grab my rectangular selection tool. And I'll go ahead and just select this side view first, making sure to not cut any part of it off. Sometimes I get these so close together that it's hard to tell if you're cutting something off. Looks like I'm okay. Okay, and then I'll just go ahead and press Control or Command C, uh, Control or Command N for a new file, and then just name this. I'm going to name it Side, and hit OK. So control V to paste it. And then I'm going to take my magic wand and uh, tolerance of zero, and select somewhere where on the outside of the car. Then invert my selection. You can either do Select um, Inverse or uh, Shift Command I or Shift Control I on, on PC, and then just crop it. Okay, and then I'll go back to my other image, grab the top view here. Again, make, being careful not to cut anything off. Okay, same process Control C, Control N, call this top. K, control V, and then invert, crop. Okay, next image. Get my the right tool here. Okay, control C, control N. Front, control V. Now I know this is repetitive, but there's something I want to show you after I do all this. So uh, I need to go ahead and go through the whole thing. It's going to be some important to make sure that all your images line up properly. Control C, control N, back, control V. By the way, this uh, methodology I learned from somewhere else, and I don't remember exactly where I would tell you, um, and so I don't take credit for uh, this tutorial. Um, again, if I knew where I found it or who did it, I would just uh, tell you to go there and look at that. Um, but So I'm just recreating it here. Now, there's something on this particular image, and you want to check zoom in all your images and make sure there's nothing sticking out of the bounds of the vehicle itself you can see in here there's this little line which I don't even know what that is for but um, it kind of sticks out a little bit so you actually want to delete that part of the image it sticks out of the car there so I'll just grab a brush and put it on one pixel make sure that it's white and that it, it's um, hardness is all the way up to 100% and then just paint that white part out zoom back out here and I could have probably done that before I did this part but uh, forgot actually uh, recorded this video once before and lost uh, my sound halfway through I accidentally pressed I accidentally pressed the mute button on my um, microphone so I did about 10 minute video and about 7 minutes of it had no sound 
So, um, let's see, select inverse, and then crop it again. Okay, now I'm going to go get out of full screen here so I can have all my images and tabs. Um, now, what you what's really important that you do here is um, make sure that the heights and widths of all the images are the same. So, on this back and front layer, um, or back and front uh, image, I should say, just zoom that up. Um, you want to make sure that the height and width are exactly the same on both of these. So I'll go into this back image and go into image, image size, and we have 357 by 242. So I want to make sure that that's the same here. And it's not, so we want to change this. 357 by 242, and in order that for this to work properly, you got to make sure that constrained proportions is not selected. Okay, so now on the top layer zoom in a little bit you want to make sure that your width uh, this way is the same as your width this way so was it two or 354 so on the top you want to make sure that your height on this one is the same And in the same fashion, on the side, you want to make sure that zoom in a little bit. You want to make sure that your length is the same as your length this way. So here's image size and the width is 783. So you want to make sure that this is 783 and the height is needs to be 242 same as the height on the front and back images. Okay so now we can just close this and we're going to go ahead and save these all as target files. Um, of course, I've done this already a couple times, so I'm just going to do see side oh, two. I'm going to overwrite my files. Close that one. Don't save. Top. Targa. It'll be top o oh, two. Close it. Oops, the wrong button. Front. Okay, front. Oh, two. And then back. Back O2. Sure, save this Targa. Okay, and then you're done with Photoshop. Now, in the next video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get these into Moto on um, background planes so that you can start modeling.